Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous superstar Capricorn. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of October. 2019 looking at life and love i am your astrologer nadia shaw thank you for being here what an amazing month it is we have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now and it is such an important moment a time that is going to help you to understand the ground on which you stand where it is that you come from the strength that is within you as part of moving forward in addition to all of this we are going to have some very social energy that's only going to kick into higher and higher gear as you move further and further into the month that is going to surprise you and delight you with truly big opportunities as we step into this new month we are still working with the energy of the new moon that took place late last month that new moon happened in a part of the sky for you that had to do with career and life purpose and so these are very much on your mind new opportunities new possibilities will continue to show up for you it is as we get to the middle of the month that the energy changes in significant ways and becomes a lot more private, a lot more quiet. And that is because this full moon is happening at the very foundation of your chart, the bottom of your sky. And just because it is a quiet part of the sky doesn't mean there's not a whole lot happening in your life. This full moon is powerfully activated by other power players, including a supremely harmonious connection with Jupiter. Jupiter, of course, is in the sign just before yours. And what this tells me is good karma finding you at home and good karma finding you where you are. This can be a truly heartwarming energy as you may connect with your family of origin, understand your past differently in a much more empowering way and also find yourself reaching a deeper layer of forgiveness for the past than you knew before. But the other thing that is happening with this full moon is that it is going to be speaking with Saturn and Pluto. Both of those planets are in your sign, and this is a connection of some tension. And what this tells me is that you will very likely be feeling as if there's something you want to be different, something you wish you could change. There might be some very strong emotion at this time based on where it is that you have been, based on what it is that you have known before. And this ultimately is part of the journey that's gonna lead you in that direction of forgiveness. And I actually feel that there's going to be some energetic shift that takes place for you that ultimately will make so much more possible, will allow you to take advantage of all the other things that are happening this month that I'll talk about in just a bit. And that is because there is this sense of, of you understanding on a deep level that whatever didn't work, it's okay. Wherever it is that you've been before, you can see it more lovingly. You can see it uh, for the wisdom and love that it offered. And now you can be that much more present with where you are now and where you are today. If there have been any kind of underlying resentments or, or feelings that things are more complicated or a sense of any kind of pressure being on you based on the past or where you're from or perhaps to your family, this is where you'll get a chance to heal those feelings that much more deeply. This is a restoration of love that can happen for you that ultimately will allow you to see all of your journey so far with that much more love in your heart. It is as we navigate later into the month, right around the 28th is when we will have this month's new moon. Now that new moon is happening in a very social part of your sky. It is this part of the sky that speaks to friendships, social events. It speaks to working with groups of people as well and group dynamics, whether personal or professional. This can be a wonderful time to gather with others. Uh, again, it could be professional, it could be personal, but just being in the company of other people and groups of people is part of how this energy can bless you most. It is going to be Uranus standing across the sky from this new moon. And what that means is big leaps forward, a huge sense of you in an instant, feeling as if greater opportunity has just opened up. And there's a sense now of you being able to take a moment of an exchange and use it to catapult yourself to the next level, whatever that may represent for you 
personally or professionally. Wherever it is that you are aligning with what you really want in your life, well, it is this new moon and the people that you know that can help to move you in that direction. Of all the signs out there, I think that you are most likely to run into people from your past, friends that you knew before, uh, in a way that surprises you and, and can delight you as well around this new moon, on Halloween as well. In fact, I don't know what it's like where you are uh, in Halloween, but in some places, right? We welcome trick-or-treaters to the door. Uh, yeah, just you being at your door, opening your door, a friend from the past can just show up uh, with their kid or as a big kid. Uh, that becomes possible under this energy. But next month is going to be a very big Mercury retrograde month. That retrograde starts Halloween, but will last through November. And it's good to keep this in mind, even though I'll talk about it every step of the way. It's like what's happening around this new moon is truly a beginning. By the time we get there, planets have already started to move into this friendship part of your sky, but it is that new moon that will accelerate the process and it is Mercury, stationary and then retrograde that is going to bring past connections uh, into your life, will bring reunions in sometimes surprising ways, but delightful all around. Where it comes to matters of love, it is going to be Venus that moves into this part of the sky, this friendship and social part of the sky, about a week into the month and will be here through to the end of the month. And this is very powerful. Uh, this brings love and friendship together. It bonds the two and it ensures that both help each other to flourish. At the very least with this energy, it is fun, yes, but it can also be very romantic. If you're open to meeting someone new, this is where love and friendship uh, come together. Whether it is a friend who could turn into something more or whether it is a friend and, and through them that you end up connecting with someone else, it seems like there are blessings on that front. For those of you who are just getting to know someone, if you've just started to date somebody, this is a time to bring that person into your social circle that much more. This can be a really great time to either introduce them to your friends or to do more social things together. And in this way to nurture the love that the two of you share. And for those of you who are in an established bond, chances are there'll be a lot of social invitations for the two of you to enjoy together and as part of this to facilitate and nurture the love that you have. There is one thing to be mindful of here and that is right in the middle of the month, we are going to have um, Uranus standing across the sky from that Venus. So that can bring some really surprising moments, surprise confessions as well. Um, that might catch you a little bit off guard where it comes to love, whether the love you have or the love that you want. But it is going to be in the second half of the month that Venus is going to align beautifully with Saturn, beautifully with Pluto. And what that suggests is stability and passion coming into the mix. What I love about this month for you, well, look, I'm going to give it to the energy towards the end of the month and that new moon standing across Uranus. Make no mistake, that energy is truly fortunate. Sometimes you realize right in the moment that you are in the middle of a lucky break. Sometimes this can suggest a moment of uncertainty, maybe some discomfort, that eventually turns into greater opportunity for you. Regardless, it is other people now that will help you to leap into your future. And chances are, it is a future that you're ready for and that you'll like very much. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.